over the course of the last year, we've seen a major growth due to the pandemic in our routes and in our volumes. And this location is a location that DHL owns and operates. Real estate around the airport here is so expensive. Then the secondary issue is the cost of moving is so expensive. So we put our heads together and said, how could we stay in this building and increase our capacity and not have to move? The finger spur was just a perfect proposition where we can increase our capacity from around 25 routes up to 40 routes. The prefabricated dock is essentially the answer to how can you make 1 equal 18? Weird question, right? But essentially it's a long tube with a conveyor belt running through the middle and they can have one opening servicing 18 vans at the same time. Because right now the building is too small and this is just an expansion to extend the life of the building. The concept originated out of Europe and so in the U.S. We are the very first one to get the finger spur. And so our engineers contacted Arco, and so they were just a perfect fit. They came up with this grand idea, and now we're giving it a go. So one of the benefits of working with Arco Murray is as we're putting together design options, the architecture team is working with the project managers. We're able to budget along with the design, and we're able to provide that in a package to DHL so they can review it operationally and the cost, they can see what the magnitude of that was going to be. So the application of this throughout DHL would be for service center managers, AOMs, and your directors looking for increased capacity. The drivers actually have a better work environment, it's a lot safer, and at the same time it will improve our efficiencies by cutting our sort times. We're getting on the street a lot sooner and we're delivering our packages earlier. Our buildings have greater capacity without having to move.